Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today it's going to be a video of Mummy Gets Ready with the Crazy Children. So stay tuned if you want to see how this look came together. Okay, so I haven't done this in forever. I thought I would get ready and do a chat. So I already did my skincare, but I'm going to just put my product in my hair since I haven't done that yet. So I'm just using a wet brush, brushing through my hair. I have really bad dandruff still. Um, it was really, it was a lot better when I went to the doctor. So she couldn't tell what was going on. And then when I ovulated, it got bad again. So I think it has everything to do with my hormones. Sorry if this, I don't know if I look right and don't mind the mess back here this is like real life mom problems okay so I'm just gonna pop this back up again okay we're gonna try some different steps today and like I said my daughter's gonna be in and out of this video so okay I'm gonna use this Lorac that's how you say it it's the Light Source 3 in 1 Lightning Primer. I'm just gonna kinda do this. What are you doing? Daddy! Doing a video. I wanna try to match my neck, but if it goes a little dark, then I'm just gonna take it down. So, I really um. like the. Giorgio Armani so Luminous Silk Foundation. This is in 5.5. I think it's a little dark for me right now. So I'm gonna try to lighten it with the cover, Custom Cover Drops and N30 because I believe this is lighter. Looks lighter with the littlest bit on the back of my hand. And we're gonna see. So, biggest reason why I've not been filming videos. I hope I'm in focus. Because Paige might keep taking me out of focus if she's back there. Is because of like it's not that they're it's just more finding time. Uh, I feel like life is just too busy. And this has just kind of gone to the back burner. I've been a little more focusing on Instagram, just photo-wise. But not a lot of makeup. Right now, I don't do a ton of crazy makeup. Like, I do if we have an event to go do. But lately, I've just tried to throw the other looks as fast as possible to get out of the house. So... So I always like to just put a little bit of foundation on my hands and then add a little bit at a time because half the time I put out too much and then I feel like I put too much on my face because I don't want to waste it. So for me, I think my face is a little bit darker than my neck. So what I'm going to do is take a bit more of my foundation and drag it down my neck. So we're just gonna mix a bit, but we're gonna take it under. With the beauty blender, I kinda don't pat as much right away. I kinda drag it just oh, on my neck so that I can get a good. And don't forget to get your ears. Now, but look, I don't know what top I'm gonna wear, so that's another thing. Um, I just like to take it down my neck so that you don't get that line for your chin but if your top is really low and you're finding there's like a weird line here you either can grab more foundation or I have a couple tanning products that I can add to my chest that I'll probably do it just depends what shirt I'm wearing so if I'm gonna wear a higher shirt it won't really matter so just keep that I'm kind of taking it down to my collarbone but you probably can't tell, let me get a little but can you see how like dark and then how I'm a little bit lighter here? So I'm just gonna 
I'll just have to do that after I get dressed and stuff. Okay, I'm going to focus. And if I'm looking kind of up, it's because my mirror is like up that way, so that's what I'm using. I tried to put it so I'm close to the camera. This Lorac Pro Conceal Palette, I'm obsessed with. You can see how I've dug into a few of these colors. So I really like the peachy color. And it's like almost gone. So I usually take this right under the eye and I use it to brighten. So I just like to put it lightly with my finger and then I will take my beauty blender and work it in. I also like to take this brick color just lightly and it add it to more of the blue purple spots on my eyes because it'll really cover up those now it's gonna look funny but we're gonna go over it with our regular concealer but just as a little bit of a hiding so you want to do like creams and then powders like normal I always get so distracted and I will forget to do some of my creams so I want to do some contour and I'm running out of the contour color so I need some new contour I think I want to switch it up instead of buying another one of these palettes I think okay also it's up. Oh, page. I always don't get this color right on like it always is like not even I don't know how I do that Okay, now we're just gonna, usually I use my Clarisonic, but I left that in the bathroom. I'm not gonna go get it right now. And these blend really nicely, just using the beauty blender. Kind of balance it in. If it looks a little funny, I just take the color and kind of, and you can fix. So now I'm just taking, now it kind of looks funny, but to make my lip look bigger, I take it under here. And I went a little crazy with it, but it's okay because I'll take the concealer and fix it up. And then you take this up here. I might take the little bit lighter color. Why don't you go down and get an apple? Okay, work this. Okay, I look quite dark right now. So the contour, oh yeah, the contour under here too. So usually I'm gonna take a little go here and then under and here and under and then just work that in. Might look a little patchy, but that's okay. We can fix it. Concealer. I'm using my Tarte Shape Tape. I put the bright, like, right here. And then I kind of try to mix in, like, the one I don't have very much left in. So this is, I go fair beige in the middle. It's a little too dark. And then light neutral. I don't have much left. Okay, so... I just take, and I kind of use this to blend the colors together. So I take them kind of like this on the side of the nose. Like I said, there's not much of this one. So, and then I try to get some of this up here. Put it in there. This is the heart. I have like, my daughter stole this and, and there's like crumbs on it. I don't know what she did with it, but there's crumbs. Ugh. Okay, and then we work this up here. 
And we kind of try to blend it into that contour so it like kind of looks a little more blended. You can take this around your eye too. And I just keep patting it in so that you don't have like a super crazy line. So we can take it on your nose too. And then this part, I don't like putting it on. I don't like this concealer on my nose. Sometimes I don't even like it here. Um, I think that's what I'm finding. It's like kind of, it breaks up on me. Okay, and to fix this, I use light medium. And I try to like, oh no, carve under it. Mommy. So then I take this and I just try to kind of I'm taking it way higher because I find that sometimes that contour just looks so funny so I kind of blend it out a bit and this color is a little darker and I did put all, this is like a full face. So it does look a little more full coverage. Now we're gonna do powder. Okay, I have a different beauty blender and I'm using the Patrick Star setting powder. The sponge kind of like that, if you can see it. And we press it in. And you wanna make sure to, you don't got any lines there before you start setting because then you'll just set in the lines because this supposed to be like a real talk but it's really hard to talk with the kids and trying to do your makeup and stuff I'll take that powder down my nose and I really like to put it on the sides of my nose especially if I'm going to wear sunglasses so I find it just like removes all of that and I'm just putting it where I get a little oily. So I always find around my lips, my lipstick spool, kind of budge on me. Mommy, can I maybe have a little bit of salt? Okay, so I just kind of pat in the powder some places. Cover Girl Outlast. And I just like to kind of push this in to here. I don't want to be too matte, but I definitely get oily. And I find too, if I put my powder, sometimes when I put powders on top of it, they look nicer. Okay, so take the Kat Von D. I like to take this middle shade on, I don't even know what kind of brush this is. I find I get like this really pretty, product placement with it it just gives me this really can you see that we got one more page runs up our face beautiful blend it's probably the most important part is just the blending chin we also want to take down our neck a bit and make sure that we don't got a funny line the contour color which is the kind of lightest one and I just use a brush like this and I just kind of pat it in circle of motion but kind of like this and then I don't put too much on the brush whatever is left over on the brush just kind of work it in down here because that just gives us that nice soft in look okay I got this little sample of Smashbox primer. It's the Make It Pop lid primer and it's white. So I'm just going to put this on actually a closer here. Whee! You really don't need much with this. It goes a long way. Like I definitely 
I would say you need the tiniest dot of it. Like I have way too much on this finger. I just pat a little bit on and then work it out. And then I'm just gonna take my setting powder from Patrick Star and I'm just gonna take a fluffy or brush and just set. And I just keep my powder handy in case I make a mistake. Okay. So I'm gonna start with just lining my water line. So I just and this is really because I have I like wow. extensions. I like to do this first with my eye because sometimes water is a little bit. Okay, we're gonna take the Jaclyn Hill palette. That color right there. A little oh, no. oh, really so rounded please. fluffy brush. And I'm definitely going to need a closer mirror for this. I'll try to look in the camera. So, when I do it, I kind of do look down so I can get, and I just kind of place right in the socket where I want the color, and then I'll blend it out. And I, I do really like the white because it, like, shows up so well. Hey, Julie, what's wrong? So, again, I just... In the socket and then I start working around in circular circle circle motions. I try to not get like a line so you try to kind of work it up a bit blend really blend like this is just the starter color to give you a nice transition blend 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 I always find too if it's a little darker somewhere else just take the little bit more on your brush and just pop it where you need and just don't blend it out as much so just kind of pop it in do you want to show her that my water's over there because i bet she's thirsty so just i just kind of press it in and then don't blend it as much because blending's gonna soften it and if you want that little bit of darker to keep it even. Just kind of pop it in and then you can just blend above it to soften maybe a harsh line. So I always leave out my brushes because if I have to go back and blend with that color or anything. Okay I'm going to take like a more taper brush. Can you see this one? And in the Lorac Pirates of the Caribbean there's this tail, tell no tails. And it's this beautiful color right here. So we're gonna take that. We're dipping just the kind of tip. You want just the tip in and make sure to really knock off the product. I love these because they're pigmented, but they're got a little bit of a fallout. So again, we're going to try to take this and have the brush more like at, instead of like this angle, try to kind of come at it. So you can get it right in oh. here. Ah. And I always kind of push it right into the corner here. I really work it in there. Hey, hey, hey. Now I don't know, this brush is not giving me, I think I'm gonna switch it up. Um, that brush isn't really working for me per se. Okay, so this one's a little more um, chunky, but it's got that round tip that I need. Okay, so we're gonna pop this in here. See, it's like kind of harsh, but we're gonna take this brush again, no product, and just kind of blend it out. Let's try to pop the color in first like popping it like boop 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 and then kind of move it around so you can get that bless you and then just and how hard you put pressure to is what if you're really like let's just for example if you're really pushing in there it's gonna soften if you want to just lightly put pressure it's just going to soften those areas at the tops or the bottom and like not where you had put the product you wanted to stay if that makes sense 
So you're just like lightly kind of touching the tops of them. Okay, how's that looking? Good. I want to take this really dark color right here. Okay, and then we're going to put that right here. This part's the hardest because it's just, you gotta find your eye shape and to get the color kind of the same on each eye is a little difficult. But I must say this white primer is making these colors show up so nicely. Do not mind my daughter having a freak out downstairs either. She's just, she is teething. I might have to go down in a minute and figure out what they're doing. Mommy, I don't know how to clean my nose. Okay, well, we talked about this a billion times. Take the Kleenex box to your room, and when you sneeze, when you need to sneeze, go achoo, and you clean, go into the Kleenex. Yeah, but I don't know how to do it. You just go like this. You just hold it and go achoo, and then you just go, and then you throw it out. To teach a child to blow their nose is the most difficult thing. Okay, so yeah, we're just keeping this dark color right on the edge here, and then we kind of fluff it, liking it. My hardest thing is I don't ever know exactly what I'm gonna do, so it just kind of is an experimental. So I am unsure. I don't think I want to use this Jacqueline green. Maybe I do. Okay, so we're going into the Jacqueline Hill. And we're going to do that bright kind of green. And my brush is a little wet, so we're going to see how this goes on. Okay, are we ready? kind of more patient with the darker colors or the more vibrant colors because you have to really layer them and take your time and you gotta like kind of finesse them in a sense. Oh, sorry. The hardest part is definitely merging the colors together so you get this really pretty like they just look together good together so you kind of gonna have to mix them in the middle here and that's probably the hardest part but I think I like it it's very bold very different than what I usually do it's kind of like reminding me of a peacock wipe away the bake so we're gonna I made this little concoction so a couple of my highlighters broke and then I had the Mary Kay powder. So what I do now is I take a bit of this, I'll put a bunch of product on my brush and then I take the holes and kind of just get it off. And I just kind of lightly use this to brighten and highlight under my eyes. Mommy, Daddy's in here. Who's here? Oh, the package? Show the man. Okay. Yes, it's the same plot like Daddy. Oh. Okay. So have a little fresh. We'll go down and get it in a minute. Yeah. Is it way bigger than Daddy's or is it the... No, I think it's smaller. Oh. Okay, let Mommy finish. Okay. Oh, uh, Mommy, and is that for you? What? The yeah. cheese? Yeah. Do yeah, you want it? Yeah. Oh, okay. You turned that one when you weed, maybe. Can you want have a bite of it? Yeah, it has a little bite. I didn't know you wanted one. I, I, I didn't bite that off. You want to do that? Okay, let me have a bite. And it's just kind of to lightly highlight and set. Okay. Okay. So I have this tart. It's called Parte. 
the Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush. I love this brush. This is the It Brushes from Ultra, oh, sorry, Ulta Airbrush Powder. So I just put it on the tip and I try to work it right on the cheek here. And I just kind of blend it out into the contour. Don't mind my daughter, she just doesn't know what she wants to do. She's in her crib because she wanted to be in there and now she doesn't. Okay, my camera's gonna die so hopefully we can get through this. Okay, so we're going to line our eyes. Now, I cannot probably do this on camera. I use the little side of the Tom Ford. Yes. No. All I do is, I'm all I'm doing right now is just lining the top. Pretty much just to blend the lash line again. And I will take that black liner that we used before and I just go under to blend now that liquid liner with this liner. I am going to take though, now that I have that color there, I just need to take a bit of more of that Tell No Lies and just take it a, whip, a little bit above that green beautifully blended because it's a little it doesn't show up as nice as it did before because I think I blended it out a bit so we're just going to take that a little into the eye socket I'm really using Ooh. hardly any pressure and we're taking this brush from before that had that light color and we're just going to take it up here and try to buff it buff it so we don't have that harsh, harsh, harsh line. So then it, I think it doesn't look so harsh, it's just more buffed. Oh, oh, oh. Might just take this color, oops. We're trying an apple, sorry. This is how I really have to get dressed and ready. Because we're waiting out for like a late kind of dinner snacks, but I didn't really have time for lunch because I had to shower and then I'm trying to film this video. So, and then instead of using a concealer to cur curve out your eyebrows, I use a highlight. I just find this way you don't get too much product with the little because it's just a tiny little brush and you can just put just enough. And if you put too much on, I you can take one of your brushes that has no product on it or whatever, say like this one, and you can just lightly blend it out. If it's not the color you're liking, you can always take remember that color, the very first color we took right there? I can go in. And where is that color? And we can kind of feather that back in so it's not too harsh. And there, just a little bit of a highlight. So I'm gonna go into the Fendi and the lightest creamy kind of color up here. I'm gonna take this on that pencil brush again. And we're just gonna take it right in a quarter. Good enough. Okay, we are going to take some color underneath. So I'm gonna, and this color, I just feel like it's perfect between the two colors I kind of mixed up there. And you just want a brush that is more, can you see that? It's like a little smaller and dense and you just get it right on the tip. I'm not taking this color all the way. I'm just taking it kind of till I can see Oh, I got stuff. My eyelashes were they're dark and then they end, if that makes sense. Before the inner duck, I just leave a little bit. And I think what I will beautiful highlight we were using and blend that in between. Because we have the green there. And I think the green looks really pretty, actually. I think I want to add a little bit of the green in there. 
put it on the edge and we are just gonna really finely add that from the inner that purple color and we'll have to mix it we're just doing a fine fine line okay so I'm just gonna fix this up and while I'm doing that charge my camera okay we're going to add some highlight so what I usually do for highlight is a couple I will layer on a few so usually I take a beauty blender be a little bit damp and I'm gonna take Mom, we don't have right now. I'm gonna take champagne pop and just kind of put it on my beauty blender oh and it's a toy one for Paige and one for me pop it on like this Mommy, the apple went there to the and then, tip it. Mommy, I tipped the apple back here. Let's see. Paige and the other one's Mason. Hmm. That's weird. We even got a And toy. then I'm going to take in the glow kit sun dipped. And then we can keep this. The lightest so color. Everything in A little bit of a brush. So. And just put on the very end of my nose. And then we're going to take Moonstone. I like to hook that right here and then we're going to take moonstone and just brighten up this part and i kind of do more swirl take a little more on this side and we swirl i hope it's there new socks. i'm going to take some One <gasps> oh socks nice so i'm going to take the ultra beauty dewy okay, makeup socks. setting spray Pin so I'm gonna spray this on my beauty blender just a bit. Well, what's spraying me? And we're going to just what's spraying me? Pat that over. What's spraying me? This. <laughs> Do it again. Just pat. This is cool. And so let's pretend these are way one. Then we're gonna take Mac Fix Plus. These are the little ones that came with three little pack, and this one's the but coconut. I Okay, I also changed. So remember how I said I could take the foundation down my neck? Um, I added a little bit of a glowing moisturizer and a little bit of a tint. I still think of a maybe a bit pale, but at least my face to my neck, they match. It's just like right down here that doesn't match. So you could even that out if it bothers you. Um, I don't have any bronzer I could take bronzer down I don't have any hair right now so we're just gonna miss it so we are going to blow dry my hair so this is the natural kind of mommy, state of my hair I'm gonna fast forward through this part and there's a card says Mason and Pays and Mommy. Cool. So Mason and Pays. Um, I have the Dyson and I'm going to turn it on. And I'm just going to do one for heat and one for power. good with the eyeshadow and I would just add lipstick I don't know what I'm gonna add so I'm gonna leave that for um, after I will post a picture on Instagram when I post this video thank you so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed this more 
real life get ready with me with the kids running around and the craziness. So thanks for watching. Bye. Just put this on. Uh, really nice. Ron, <laughs> excuse you. You're not gonna poop, are you? Let me see. Yeah, just a fart. No poo poo, right? <laughs>